So this is our pool squirt measuring machine. Uh, we named it Pool Q for quality. A laser that shines down the barrel of the stick and hits point at the end of the table so that we can accur accurately position the stick and get it identical every time. Uh, enter moves forward in the menu sequence and clear moves backwards. So if we press enter, it moves forward to the next step. We opted to go with springs, tension springs. And we have a variable spring rate between 2 and 10. That's why there's all the different slots for up to 10 springs. Um, right now we have on 2 and then we can add on from there. Um, and basically we made this whole platform that can be pivoted horizontal and vertical directions. And we got the, uh, it's basically the guide rail right here is just a common desk drawer uh, rail guide. And so then this is all mounted together with the stick holder and spring holders that we uh, manufactured in-house. So then, as the menu says, you pull it back, which engages this actuator right here that holds it in place. The second you place the ball, um, the photo-optic sensor trips. We also have two lasers that converge onto one point on the ball so that we can get accurate placement of the ball every time. So you can see where the lasers converge on the ball. If I move it away, they go away. The ruler that show you how far we're going up and down. And we have a stable motor that move left and right. And uh, each movement is one millimeter. So we will able to move and be offset so we can test in different ways. To measure the speed, we use two photo test meters. When the ball first crosses the first one, uh, our program is going to start counting the time till the ball crosses the second one. And so by knowing the time and the distance, we can find the speed. Also, to find the angle, we use this sensor, it's, it's a distance laser uh, finder, it's accurate within one millimeter and so it's going to measure the distance from here to the ball and from there we, we did the, the math to find the angle. So as you see the ball here and the laser is going to read the distance from there and it's going to be reflect reflected off this meter. The next is going to be our fire sequence, um, it'll buzz and the actuator will so now we enter the, uh, the distance measurement off of the laser distance finder. Um, it says it's 2.613, so we just go ahead and enter 613. Press enter, and it shows that the ball was traveling at 1.4 meters per second, and we had 3 tenths degrees of offset of angular deflection. So ball. this time we've offset the ball. Um, it's uh, 5 millimeters to the right. A, uh, a high tech non slip bath mat <laughs> uh, and then attach it on this wedge so that as the ball's traveling in, it hits the high tech non slip bath mat and is stopped in place in the dead center so that the reflected laser hits it right in the middle. So the laser is reflected off the mirror from the distance range finder and strikes the ball in the center of the ball. <laughs> 